Are you busy after school today? Uh, no. Why? Because you're busy after school today. <laughs> Every faculty member has to advise a club or team. And let's face it, you're not advising a team. <laughs> so what kind of clubs do you have for me? Drama. Or? Drama. <laughs> so I don't get a choice? No. I decided to assign you the school play after giving the matter a great deal of consideration. <laughs> Shouldn't the school play be supervised by the drama teacher? Yes, but uh, after budget cutbacks, we only have her for 45 minutes once every 18 days. <laughs> And she's usually late. <laughs> Hippie. OK, but wait. There's a science club, right? Who's the advisor for that? Get these leeches off of me. <laughs> hey, good for you. We all need a good bloodletting now and then. <laughs> Why is she running the science club? Come back here, boy, so I can drill a hole in your skull and release the demons. <laughs> She was chosen after a great deal of consideration. <laughs> And all our days have lighted pools. The weight of dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. That was good. I, I really believed you wanted that brief candle out. We'll let you know. When? You didn't get the part. <laughs> oh, man. You should see some of these people. Who, Fortran? Yeah, I saw him in Les Mis. His Jean Valjean was pedestrian at best. I'm starting to regret choosing Macbeth. Is it too tough for high school students? Not at all. You just sit back and relax. Because you're going to be transported to another place and time. <laughs> you're into drama? You may not know this about me, but I have the grace of an angel and the soul of a poet and the feet of a duck. <laughs> My parents were upset at first, but I'm an excellent swimmer. <laughs> Derby. OK, the truth is I need a new extracurricular. If I fall asleep in science club again, I'll wake up with a hole in my head. And I need a hole in the head like I need a... Hole in the head? <laughs> what? No, why would anyone need a hole in their head? <laughs> Let's see what you got. Come to my woman's breasts and take my milk for gall, you murdering ministers! Derby, what are you doing? Lady Macbeth, she's the best character. She's also a lady. Her first name is Lady. <laughs> When it comes to Shakespeare, I'm a traditionalist. And in Shakespeare's time, the chicks were played by dudes, like in Vegas. <laughs> out, damn spot, out I say. Hell is murky, fie my lord, fie. What need we fear who knows it when none can call our power to account? It, who would have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him? And scene. <laughs> wow. Uh, Derby. I, I, I have chills. I cannot imagine giving this part to anyone, but... Is this where we audition? Echo, congratulations. You're Lady Macbeth. <laughs> We've all experienced the terrible service provided by the Pony Express. But, thanks to science, we now have a new way of sending letters. Email? Who said emu? <laughs> You're close. I'm talking about carrier pigeons. <laughs> Here's a letter I wrote to my great aunt Fanny in Constantinople. Derby. Reach in and grab yourself a pigeon. 
Why is it always Derby? <laughs> Relax, they won't fight. Ah, 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 they ah, will, ah, however, gouge you with their razor sharp talons. Ah, 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 ow, 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 ow. Hard to believe global ah, communication ah, wasn't always ah, this easy. Ah, ah, I'll go get something to sweep up these feathers while the rest of you marvel at the wonders of modern science. <laughs> oh, cut it out! I went feet on one of you! <laughs> I'll try not to keep you too late for rehearsal, six, maybe seven. Oh, my mom said I could stay out as late as I need to. Like I said, ten, maybe eleven. <laughs> Thirty. Mr. Young, I read a little of this Macbeth, and we simply can't put it on. What? Why? The play Macbeth is cursed. It's bad luck to even say the name Macbeth. That's why instead of calling Macbeth Macbeth, people call Macbeth the Scottish play. But you just said Macbeth like five times. Fine. We can't put it on because it's too violent and I pride myself in keeping this school 100% violence free. My eye, the vision took my eye. All right, the truth is it's Witches. You're scared of witches? Me? No, no. <laughs> but some of our more fragile students might be. <laughs> so, no Macbeth. Do, um, Romeo and Juliet instead. But Echo is already cast as Lady Macbeth. Well, now she's Juliet. Who? Oh. Passion? Romance? Kissing? I cannot wait to find my Romeo. <sighs> I really don't think anyone in this school is afraid of... Witch! Woo! <laughs> Found my broom! <laughs> Take the children, they're tastier. <laughs> now, Romeo lived in the 16th century, long before brushing and bathing, so you can only assume he was hideously ugly and probably a little ripe. We want our production to be realistic, don't we? I guess so. <sighs> too handsome. Too handsome. <laughs> Too handsome. Well, we have to cast somebody. Don't worry, I'm on it. Juliet, meet your Romeo. Um, really? Sure. Bandit's got chops. Hey, ready to be in a play, Bandit? As long as it's not cats. <laughs> Did my heart love till now? For swear at sight. For I ne'er saw true beauty till this night. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> oh, and it'll be great for the kissing scene. <laughs> he's talented, but I hear he's hard to work with. Also, he's a puppet. <laughs> Don't tell me you still haven't cast Romeo. So, Hutch, are you busy after school today? Nope, completely available. Not signed up for any extracurricular activities at all. What about Hutch Anderson? I hear he's free. Plus, he's tall, handsome, and he's not a puppet. I don't think so. We're looking for ugly. And he's like the complete, total opposite of ugly. I mean, look at him. Mm. Well, it's settled. We found our Romeo and Juliet. What? I feel the same way. No, I meant what, as in what is Romeo and Juliet? It's a play with lots of kissing. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Mom left this lasagna for dinner and said it needed to be warmed up. Want some? I can add some shaved parmesan. Too upset to eat. Hutch and Echo are gonna spend hours and hours together rehearsing the kissing scene. Not if we have anything to do with it. We're gonna keep those two apart. We? <laughs> We've never been a we before. Well, we are on the same side here. Are you suggesting some kind of unholy alliance? <laughs> What? No. I'm suggesting two ordinarily hostile factions join forces in a sinister conspiracy against a third party out of mutual self-interest. My mistake.
Good news. I gave Hutch a detention. <laughs> what? But I got Echo a detention. Detention? That is so unfair. Those aren't even mine. They certainly aren't, young lady. They belong to the aquarium. And they want their endangered sea turtle eggs back. <laughs> Seem the simplest way. Echo, since we're both going to be in detention, why don't we work on the play? Awesome. I'm feeling a little awkward about some of the romantic stuff. Uh, I hear you. But if you get nervous, just look into my eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. They'll probably go straight to the kissing scene. Witch scene? There's a witch scene? Okay, Romeo and Juliet, the famous balcony scene. Great, I'll head up there now. Oh, no need. Hutch is already in place. <laughs> but isn't Juliet supposed to be on the balcony? Yeah, I, I did a little rewrite. You rewrote Shakespeare? <laughs> Just a few nips and tucks, ironed out the rough spots, no big. <laughs> okay, people, let's run through it. What's in a name that which we call a rose by any other word would smell as sweet? Uh, it says here I'm supposed to fall. <laughs> Don't forget the to your death part. <laughs> is there going to be a mad or something? <laughs> this is Shakespeare. The mat was invented until 1835 by a guy named Matt. <laughs> If Romeo dies, he won't be around for the rest of the play. Wow. I did not think of that. <laughs> well, sure, you'll have a brief mourning period, but uh, you'll find fulfillment when uh, you join a nunnery and spend the rest of the play helping the needy and never touching another man. Ever again. Adam, this isn't right. Romeo doesn't die until the tune scene at the end. Well, way to ruin it for the rest of us. <laughs> Why don't you just call this play Romeo and spoiler alert? Today's science club topic is the life cycle. Tell me, what happens when someone dies? People bring a lot of cabbage rolls to your house. <laughs> Which is great because I love cabbage rolls. <laughs> Horse pucky. <laughs> when we die, we go to meet the sun god Ra. <laughs> but if he's going to choose you as his bride, you need to look your best. And nothing preserves your youthful glow like mummification. <laughs> Does this thing have a fly? Now, before we wrap the head, we need to remove the brain. What? One chunk at a time, through the nose, with this hook. <laughs> wow. No fly, but conveniently absorbent. <laughs> Don't worry, he won't get far. The Pharaoh's gods are everywhere. All right, Romeo made it to the final scene as you crybabies insisted. But now, Juliet wakes up and sees his dead body, which has started to rot and emit a foul stench. Ew. That's exactly the attitude I want you to have in the scene. Ew, and go. What's here? A cup close to my true love's hand? Poison, I see, hath been his timeless end. Good, good. Now, take his dagger. And stab him. Stab him? Stab him. Yeah. Romeo left you. You're mad. But he's already dead. Yeah, I'm already dead. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. And we're stabbing. And we're stabbing. I'm supposed to kiss him. <sighs> Modern audiences don't like kissing. They come to the theater for stabbing. <laughs> this is crazy. We're doing the play as written. As written by me? No! no! <laughs> but 
it's soft. What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, kill the envious moon. Sure, it's all lovey-dovey now, but we know how this ends. Romeo dies. And I think we can safely assume it's the work of witches. <laughs> Are more fair than she? Be not her may, since she is envious. Oh, great, they're perfect together. Don't worry, when you failed the unholy alliance, I took matters into my own hands. Meet your new makeup girl. How is that going to help? Soon, Hutch and Echo are gonna kiss. Then they'll date, make out by the lockers in front of my classroom, invite me to their destination wedding in Bermuda, even though they know there's no way I can take the time off work. <laughs> but I guess I'm expected to get them a gift anyway. <laughs> and then they invite me over for Christmas dinner. Like they do every year, because poor single Adam has nowhere else to go. And who's the desperate cat lady they're trying to set me up with this year? Final scene. You're up, Romeo. <clears throat> oh, look. There's the gravy boat I bought them for their wedding. I know they don't use it when I'm not here. Oh, sure. Uncle Adam will babysit over New Year's. Yeah, so you two can have a romantic weekend in Cabo. And the worst part is I love spending time with those kids. So well-behaved and beautiful. And they make beautiful kids. Come, bitter conduct. Come, unsavory guide. Thou desperate pilot, now at once run on the dashing rocks thy seasick, weary bark. Here's to my love. <coughs> oh, true apothecary. Thy drugs are quick. Even though I knew it was coming, it still got me. <laughs> Romeo's dead. He's gone. He'll never stir again. <laughs> He's alive! What's happening? You can't write this stuff. And as we sit across the bridge table in the nursing home we share, she confesses that she had a little crush on me back in high school, but didn't act on it because she assumed I had no feelings for her. Oh, if only I could go back and do things differently, but no. The past is the past. Ow! Would you snap out of it? I told you I'd take care of it. Ah, a box! A box on both my elbows! <laughs> <laughs> Itching powder? I bought it at the joke shop, along with these x-ray specs. <laughs> <laughs> at least you're smart. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I guess the show is over. Oh, man. Right before the kiss. No, no! The show must go on! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I like to be prepared. Do you have any other costumes on under there? No. <laughs> What's here? A cup close to my true love's hand. Poison I see hath been his timeless end. <laughs> Give my love to Aunt Fanny. I hope she enjoys these cookies. That's the witch. I knew there was a witch. That's it. I'm done. Uh, no, no, we haven't kissed yet. Well, find someone else. But, but no one can play Juliet but you. Nonsense. Like you said, the show must go on. We'll just use the next best actress. At your service. <laughs> in my true love's hand? <laughs> Poison I see hath been his timeless end. I will kiss thy lips, happily some poison yet doth hang on them. I will kiss thy lips. <laughs> and 
we're stabbing. And we're stabbing. And we're stabbing. And we're stabbing. And we're stabbing. And we're stabbing. Oh! just cannot write this stuff. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. <gasps> Trip to Aruba! school can't afford a trip to Aruba. Especially not after spending all that money on this wheel. 